Charlie Weir has spent a large part of his life pursuing restoration of the Shoalhaven River, many as chair of the community group Shoalhaven River Watch. The Southern Rivers CMA has been assisting Charlie, local dairy farmers and oyster growers to work together to improve water quality and river health. These days, Charlie refers to himself as a retired environmentalist, but he remains a passionate advocate for the Shoalhaven River. Well, I was uh, born in Sydney, North Sydney. Came here when I was a week old, and I've been in the river ever since. My father ran the last cargo boat in the river. We lived at Riversdale till I was about 17. Then we left Riversdale and we've been farming around the district. It's a beautiful river and there's not too many rivers left. And everybody talks about the Shalhaven River. And they all come to the Shalhaven. It's the best river on the coast for fishing, good for skiing, good for houseboating, canoeing, kayaking, and all sorts of things. And it's so long and, and plenty of it, 60 odd kilometres of river. Planting mangroves may act as a buffer zone and it's good for fish stocks. And if we don't do it, we'll just, we'll end up with no river. I was initially approached um, as the land care officer by Riverwatch, Charlie Weir and John Tate and um, Barry Allen, one of the oyster farmers, in regards to the bank erosion that was occurring and uh, the changes in, in the intertidal zone and, and the mangroves within the estuary. Um, Barry Allen, one of the oyster farmers and a member of Riverwatch, was also uh, concerned and highlighted the fact that some of the challenges that the oyster industry were facing uh, was directly connected to the land use of the dairy farmers. Um, and, and we discussed ways in which we could approach dairy farmers to try and resolve the problem. The CMA boys came to see me and they're pretty sharp young fellows and they, they have their agenda. And I was a bit worried at first, but they, we talked things over, we threw things around and it was good, good for me, good for them. After we got going and saved some banks and seen how good we were doing the work and that, that we had phone call after phone call. I had at home asking when was I going to do their banks and we ended up with a good relationship. Well, Charlie Weir was a fisherman, I think, all his life. He's doing a lot to plant mangroves along, along the banks as well as you know, oak trees to try and repair a bit of the damage that because he's seen the damage over a long period of time, most people wouldn't see that. Oh, it's a hell of a lot of work when you th talk about 150,000 mangroves planted and 25,000 casuarinas and about 20 kilometres of fencing. You can't do it all on your own. Since the CMA took over, it's taken a lot of work off my shoulders and there's just too many people wanted work done. I just couldn't handle them all. Once um, the education and information came out there and the CMA started working with the dairy farmers, we had a couple of field days, um, working parties were organised so that uh, oyster farmers were actually going out onto dairy farms and helping string up fences to actually fence the cattle out. Action actually started to happen where we could see and, and prove that, that um, water quality issues were important and that keeping the cattle out actually will improve the waterway. And it's not just for oyster farmers, it's for the, the tourists, the public, fishermen. It affects them all. It's just that we're the ones that monitor it. Well, it's a win for everybody. It's a win for the, the government with their keeping the water clean. It's a win for the oyster farmers because when you get rain, they can get their oysters to market quicker. A win for me because I can revegetate the, the muddy spots around the edge of the farm and I go fishing. And mangroves are the most productive environment on earth, they say. The dairy farmers actually get it now. The community gets it now. And when we can direct harvest out of anywhere in the river because the water quality is that good, we'll all deserve gold stars for that. So I really think it's about partnerships, people understanding each other and, um, and the CMA supporting all those involved because it's worth looking after. And without the river, as I've said many times, in me talking and meetings and papers, 
Now it would be nothing without the Shalaven River. <laughs>